Hi, and welcome back to the video series. This time we'll take a little deeper look into the model R design. Supporting you with the most suitable combination for your specific use is always our main objective, but we know that the options may get a little confusing. For example, here we have some of the most common setups our shears leave the factory with, regardless of the model size. Base shear is always a simple choice for your most common needs. Equipping it with the collector will make things more efficient, especially when working with a lot of smaller trees which we tend to encounter. If you also need the ability to delimb the trees, the so-called full spec with both delimber and collector will be your choice. The shear can always be built to your liking right from the get-go, or both of these attachments are also available later on as retrofit kits, no matter of the order. But to make things more spicy, we have a lot more of other attachments available to help you grow with your work. Let's take a look. During the last 10 years, we've developed and manufactured multiple different attachments based on our own and customer needs. The hydraulic extension beam for TMK300 will provide you a powerful tool especially designed for thinning, fire prevention and clearing operations. If you're running a solid boom and need the effect of a bucket cylinder, our solid linkage with the 165 degree motion will be your solution for that. Our hanging linkage will be connected under your rotator and will be very similar to use compared to a normal timber grapple if you are using a forwarder, forestry trailer or such. If you're feeling short, the solid extension beam for our TMK3 shear models is the most cost-efficient solution when wanting to cut down or over ditches or, for example, wanting to protect your tilt rotator if you're running your tree shear under one. Our innovating fitting plate system gives you the ability to fit your shear with different types of adapters or brackets or use different attachments in between like our solid extension beam or the tilting units. It's easily bolted on on the back of the shear or set attachments or bolted off with the hardened nuts and bolts. The brush grapple available for all models will provide you an efficient tool when wanting to cut down all the nimble twigs or smaller stuff. The support hill will provide you an extra agility boost when wanting to take support from the ground with your excavator with the bottom of the shear. The splitting blade will provide you an easy ability to make firewood or split your bigger logs to dry up quicker. The control options vary a lot depending on the build of your shear and the setup on your base machine. Our main attachments, the limber and collector, are available by direct double-acting hydraulic lines from your base machine or by utilizing our innovative 3-in-1 bulbing system, which can be operated either by pressure diversion in certain cases or by utilizing our uh, normal electric wiring kit, which is run by the boom into your cabin or with the wireless electric kit, which consists of a transmitter wired inside your cabin and a receiver unit inside the shear, which is battery powered by normal Makita or Milwaukee drill batteries. More about our attachments and how to utilize them will be covered in the future episodes, so make sure to stick around for those. Thanks for watching and as always, until next time.